Hey everyone, this is part one of a two-part video. In this video, I will be going over my foundation routine. In part two, I will demonstrate the purple smoky eye I have on, as well as some finishing touches to this look. If you're interested in learning how my face goes from bare to flawless, keep watching! Starting off with a clean face, I apply a pea-sized drop of MAC Studio Moisture Cream all over my face and neck. I didn't record the next part, but I applied a tiny amount of Tarte Maracuja C Brighter Eye Treatment around the orbital bone by patting gently with my ring finger. Next, I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer and applying a pea-sized amount all over my face, making sure not to miss a spot. This will help your foundation go on more smoothly and last longer. Today for foundation, I will be using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the shade 106. I squirted two pea-sized drops on the back of my left hand and will be applying it using the fuller side of my Pro Beauty Blender. Although this shade does look a tad bit too dark, I promise that once we move into concealing, highlighting, and contouring, it'll all come together. Next, I'm going in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer in the shade Light Neutral. I'm applying it under my eyes, on my forehead, on the bridge of my nose, on my chin, and about a half a centimeter under my cheekbone. Now I'm going in with the same Dampen Beauty Blender I use for my foundation and blending out the concealer with the pointed end. highlighting and contouring. Today I will be using the Smashbox Step-by-Step -step Contour Stick Trio. I'm starting out with the lightest shade and drawing O's around the orbital bone and above my brows. Then I'm going in with the darkest shade and drawing X's under my cheekbones where I want to contour. I am also contouring my nose and drawing X's along my jaw. Using the middle bronze shade, I am adding some dimension to my contour cheekbones. Remember to highlight the parts of your face you want to bring forward and contour the parts of your face you want to, in theory, send back or define. Using the same damp beauty blender, use the fuller side to blend out the dark contoured areas and the pointed side to blend out the highlighted areas. Concealer, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder along with the e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush. I began by smoothing out the concealer with my beauty blender, pouring a small amount of the powder onto the lid, swiveling around my brush in the powder, and then tapping off any excess before applying it directly under my eyes. 
This helps eliminate creasing under the eyes. I'm also going to set all the areas I highlighted with the same powder. To set the rest of my face, I will be using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation Powder in the shade 300. You can also use any Kabuki style powder brush for this step. So this concludes my flawless foundation routine video. If you want to learn how I created this soft purple smoky eye, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and keep an eye out for my next video. Thanks for watching!